If you're having a hard time accepting the pricing on these new pickup trucks, meet the XL with the STX package. This is basically a work truck with an appearance package and a really nice one at that. Only Ford and Chevy offer this. GMC nor Ram have something to compete with this. I am here at Larry H. Miller Super Ford in Salt Lake City. If you would like to purchase or order a truck from them, be sure to reach out to them. This one is actually going to the auto show, so I'm not sure if this truck is available for sale afterwards. But hey, doesn't hurt to get on the list if you would like this spec. Let's go ahead and check out the window sticker so you guys can see some of the options and features on this build. At the very top are all the specs and colors. This is a standard bed. And here's all the standard equipment. It is a short listing. And then down below are all the options. So that STX package is right there for $5,115. And we'll kind of go through everything that it offers. Platform running boards for $445. And this truck does have the snowplow prep package with camper which is something you definitely want to get if you're going to be using this truck for a bed camper. A few other things listed there. Destination comes in at $19.95 with a total price of $61,070. The new age buyers don't want Chrome anymore. So that's kind of why this STX package was created. I also believe it was created for the middle class. This is a middle class truck now. There used to be a time where the middle class wanted the Lariat or the King Ranch or the Platinum, but those trucks have gotten so out of reach that this is now what you can afford. And if you were to add the diesel, this truck's about $70,000. The high output would put you right over $70,000. Now up front, you guys see the painted bumpers. Also standard LED headlights and fog lights with the SCX package. That's really cool, but it doesn't stop there. You see the front right here? forward facing camera so you have 360 camera view with this truck and having the black grill and the painted bumpers with the led fog lights this truck looks really good a lot of aggressive styling in the hood and off to the side you have your blackout so you have that painted front look and you have the blackout for the wheels so this truck looks more upscale which is why i think they created it for the middle class because you know it's middle class people we don't want a cheap truck we want a truck to look good and yeah, on the outside, it looks great. Now this 18 inch wheel is wrapped in a Bridgestone Dueler AT tire. And here's some of the capacities. 3,640 pounds at 80 PSI. 275, 70, 18 is the tire size. And solid front axle, so nothing's gonna really change there. Also on the side, you have this blackout for the badge. It says STX, where it would normally say XL. And they don't give you any painted trim pieces here for the mirrors but you still have the lights there blind spot monitoring and then you have the convex here's another camera no chrome on the windows no chrome on the door handles they're all just finished in like black plastic or vinyl material you saw those fixed running boards on the window sticker and for 2023 and 2024 they did add these steps on the side of the bed I personally like them. I think they make the truck look a little bit more upscale and more like a truck. And because this has the standard bed, you have a 34 gallon fuel tank. And then check out the leaf pack out back. So you have three leafs in the main pack right there and you have an overload. So this is slightly different from the F351 tons. There is no wheel well liner, but that is available. No fifth wheel prep package. And out back, you have LED tail lights and incandescent bulbs for your brake lights. Here's a better look at that step. Parking sensors out back. They were not on the front. Class 5 receiving hitch, 7 and 4 pin, and backup camera. And then there's a light here to shine down below for your conventional hitch. Now this is not assisted. However, they still give you the step. This one does have the spray and bed liner from the factory. You can turn on your LED bed lights. You have a bed view camera. So again, a lot of nice features come apart of this middle class truck. This is a new age middle class truck, guys. Just saying. Now, for some weird reason, I thought this truck had the 7.3. And maybe I pulled the keys to the wrong truck. But nevertheless, the 6.8 liter is still a good offering. It was upgraded from the 6.2 liter. 
Now, one thing to mention, if you want a four x two truck, you can only get that with a 6.8 liter and the 6.8 liter only comes available with the XL trim level. If you go to an XLT, you get the standard 7.3 liter, which is not a bad thing. Now, this engine is going to put out 405 horsepower at 5,000 RPMs, 445 pound-feet of torque around 4,000. 10.8 to 1 compression. They have a iron block and aluminum heads, and they did shorten the crankshaft to reduce the stroke to make the 6.8 liter. So that's the differences between this and the 7.3. 10 speed transmission is going to be different from the 7.3 as well. That has the 10R140. This is a 10R100, which is why, and probably the biggest reason why, I would probably go with the 7.3. But let's go ahead and check out the interior and then I'll show you guys the payload for this gas pickup. So the reason why the STX package is going to be popular is because you get the nice exterior, but on the inside it's a work truck. Mainly operated seats for the driver and passenger. They do give you lumbar support, however, for the driver's side. Telescoping, steering wheel, you cannot tilt the headrest. Now, the only thing I wish they would have done was allow for the seat to raise and lower because that might be a problem for shorter drivers. You cannot adjust the pedals either, which is why I think they should have offered that feature. But power windows, power door locks, uh, you cannot power fold or put them in tow mode, so you have to go outside of your truck, you know, and burn some calories and do it yourself. And a lot of storage in the door here. Electronic parking brake, and here's some of your lighting controls for like the bed, automatic headlights, and for your gauge cluster too. They do provide a grab handle. And let's go ahead and check out everything on your steering wheel. So this is for your cruise control and audio. And then this is how you're gonna control this screen here. Now closing the door, Truck still feels really solid. You will unfortunately have to look for your key. I can't remember what I did with the key because this truck does not have push button start. Now, I will say Chevy does give that to you on their custom trim level, which would compete with this. And I definitely want push button start, just personally. Now here is the multi information display in the gauge cluster. So you have your analog gauges, which is nice. I'll top them on the side. Now, one thing that's worth noting, going through this screen here, you have your trip information there, shows you your fuel economy, and then my favorite, your measurement. So this shows you your engine coolant temp, also shows you the transmission temp, and the engine oil temperature. And then of course, on this screen, if you click the OK button right here, it'll show you your battery voltage right there. And then you have like what they call a calm screen. Gear limiters on the side, and you do have an M here too if you want to put it in manual mode. You don't have to push it, but it's there for you if you like. Trailer brake. This truck does still have five unique drive modes. So you have eco, tow haul, normal, slippery roads, and then off road mode. No dual climate control, but it's okay. You still have all the nice features that you would like like your USB is down below 12 volt power plug and check this out Apple CarPlay Android Auto because it doesn't have navigation built in you still have it for your phone and it's still a nice setup here you have your temperature you have a home button up top here which will take you to this screen here it shows you that the audio is off you have a compass which is very handy LED interior lights and this one did have the optional uh, auxiliary switches place to put your sunglasses there and there is no vanity but on this side you still have that for the passenger and I don't normally show this but this does slide in and out too to give you better adjustment away from the Sun on the center seat you have storage and if nobody's sitting here they do have a lever on the side that you can push and you have your cup holders, a spot for your phone, and more storage. A little bit of storage above on the dash. And they do give you this open storage. Also, you have nice storage for your glove box. 
12 volt power plug and you have two USBs on the side here. So a lot of nice features that they give you a little bit of storage down below there. Lastly, here is your screen for your 360 camera. And it is on a smaller scale, so it's not as easy to see it, but you still have a lot of nice features. Like you can still see your bed view camera there. And because of the sticker here, you can't really see it, but it's pretty clear. You can zoom in to your hitch or your gooseneck ball too, to make it easier. And then here's some of the buttons at the very top. So you have this button for your cameras, caution lights, and traction control right there. Out back, 6040 bench still comes available with the XL model. There is no storage below the seat. No seat back pockets here. The rear glass does not have a de-icer, nor can it slide. A lot of headroom, more USBs, type C's, and 12 volt plug. Cup holder for the top of the door here. A lot of storage. One last thing, I always forget to show this to you guys. You have cup holders down below. So the numbers on the door for the front gross axle weight rating is going to be 5,990 pounds. The rear is 6,340 pounds. Gross fuel co-weight rating is 10,500 pounds. And for an F250 three quarter ton, you have 3,776 pounds of payload. That is more payload than some of the one ton Chevy, GMC, and Ram pickups right now. And that's in part to the aluminum beds on these trucks and i'll show you guys some of the towing capacities for this truck as well now again i think that for the price point if you can get this truck under sixty thousand dollars discounted that is a good deal especially in today's market i hope you guys like the video special shout out again to larry h miller here in salt lake city if you would like to purchase this truck be sure to reach out to the commercial team or the sales team let them know you saw the video See you guys soon.